In this video we have the definite integral from 0 to pi over 4 of sine of 2x times sine of 3x to evaluate. If you want to give this a try, go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, the main thing we need to do here first, of course, is evaluate this product of sine of 2x and sine of 3x. And again, this will involve a true identity going from a product to a sum, and that's this one right here. The sine of angle A times the sine of angle B will be equal to one half, and then we have cosine of A minus B minus the cosine of A plus B. And this should be a capital right here. Get the idea. Let's go back to this one then. This is going to equal to, and go from zero to pi over four, and then we got the one half here and then it's the cosine of the difference of the angles. So that'll be 2x minus 3x. It'll give me a minus 1x. But since cosine is an even function, I can just let that equal to x. So in other words, cosine of minus x is the same thing as cosine of x because cosine is even. So we get that. And it's going to be minus the cosine of the sum of the two angles. This will be 5x. And we'll come over here then. We're ready to integrate then. Leave the 1 half there. And then we integrate inside the brackets here. Antiderivative or the integral of cosine is sine of x. Same thing with cosine of 5x. It's going to be sine of 5x. The derivative of 5x is 5, so we got to put this 1 fifth out in front. And then this is evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. So we got 1 half here. Then we have to plug in pi over 4. This is the sine of pi over 4. You can think of that as 45 degrees if you want. And it's minus 1 fifth. Put pi over 4 in here. That'll be 5 pi over 4. And that's going to be the the uh, expression evaluated at 0. So this will be minus. I'm going to put a 0 here. But sine of 0 to 0. Put a 0 here. That 5 times 0 is still sine of 0. So the evaluated at 0, that's going to be 0. Sine of 0 minus one fifth sine of zero, that's all zero, times zero, times one half rather, that's going to be zero. So all we have is this right here and then. This is going to equal to then one half, and then sine of pi over four. Again, you can think of that in degrees if you want, uh, 45 degrees. That's square root of two over two, and then it's minus one fifth, and then it's a sine of 225. That's a negative over to 2 over 2. I got 1 half then. Go to 2 over 2 and minus, and then this will be negative, negative here. Those will be the square root of 2 over 10. And this was a plus here because of the double negative here. I got the 1 half then. And get the common denominator here of 10, so this would be 5 radical 2 over 2. And 1 is 6. Again, multiplying by 5 and 5 here, I get 5 radical 2 over 10 and 1. This would be 6 radical 2 over 10. And you can reduce here, you just multiply over by 1 half here, that'll give me a 3. Let's go to 2. Number 10. This is the value of the definite integral. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.